guys it is july 28th and this is i think my ninth kennels creation podcast episode this is probably gonna be a later than my usual podcast episodes because i'm not recording until like five and i usually record at like two or three so sorry about that um, I really was not feeling good until about two minutes ago. Anyways, so I'm not going to do a fun fact for this week because I can't or anything go on. I'm a pretty boring person. Usually my fun fact is that I knit and crochet, but it's kind of whole point of this. So, I have two finished objects. The first one is this little shark. Um, he's from my boyfriend, he's just like a little thing. So, there's a bit of a story behind this shark. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog is right outside of my door. So, if my door jolts or if you hear someone barking, it's him. But, so my boyfriend asked me, I talked about it a little while ago, he asked me for a yellow velvet shark a little while ago. And he forgot that he asked me. And so this is like actually a surprise. I'm giving it to him tomorrow for our one month. Um, I, I've named him Lucas. Um, I do not care that he is for my boyfriend. His name will continue to be Lucas. But, so that's that one. And then I finished my socks for my mom, which if you guys watched the video about me making them you would know or if you guys follow me on instagram my instagram will always be linked in the description as well as my etsy um this is in knit picks hawthorn kettle dye and slate i used chow goo size one needles uh knit, and i used the crazy sock ladies vanilla sock pattern which is what i'm using for most of my socks i'm kind of scared to do a patterned sock because I always twist my stitches because I don't know why I just like the way it looks a little bit more and it's just something I like more so I'm scared and when you twist stitches the center it like kind of rotates everything around in a circle so I'm kind of scared for like if I were to do a pattern sock how that would look but I mean like this looks fine like you can see like the halfway line and it like here and like you, it kind of seems to be going good so I'm hoping to do a pattern so I can just have it not really matter but anyways so I finished those I finished this on Sunday well technically Monday um morning at like 12 30 but essentially sunday and so then i have finally been able to work on my alpaca socks this is in knit picks eco superwash alpaca i am i think i'm like two rows away from maybe three I'm two rows away from the heel flap, so I'm going to get that done today. That and the turn. I know I'm going to get done today, so and then I'm hoping tomorrow I can do the gusset stitches. But yeah, that's that. Um, I do have. A spare set of needles so I am going to ooh, I am going to cast on another pair I just need to decide what color because if you guys were here last week you would know I got some new yarn although I am leaning towards this pretty purple this is darker in person so I think I'm gonna cast that on but I know I want to finish this sock first or get most of the way done with that sock so by next week I will have a new sock cast it on. And so I actually I did buy something. Um it's not yarn, I know, although 
Knit Picks Felici in like colors is back and um the first like pair of wool wool wool, wool socks I knit were Knit Picks Felici it's this one and I love it so I might have to buy them I might have to buy some I don't know maybe we'll see we'll see what happens but what I bought I got this these are the metal here I have some on that top but oh well these are the little light bulb stitch markers um we're gonna go get some hair but um I like them way more for this for socks because the other ones I would use aren't these ones which they're, they're pretty standard I love these ones for crocheting but these ones for like knitting with super small yarn and needles it leaves little to no like mark of where it was and sometimes the bigger ones do leave a bit of a mark and so I just got a pack of 450 and I know that's a lot but I'm probably gonna lose most of them because it's me and I do eventually want to get into like sweater knitting and stuff like that and so I'll use these for this and uh, now I don't have to worry about because I used to only have three like from clothing and so I was like so scared I'm like how am I gonna do this because I know I didn't want to use one of the big ones for this because for some reason this just feels way more delicate so I'm like how on earth am I gonna do this so I was thinking of like keep reusing the same three but now that I have this I don't have to do that and there's so many pretty colors there's 15 colors uh these is this is like gray and this is black and then that's like a gold so and then the rest are pretty self-explanatory that's like a darker gold and that's a lighter gold so and I'm also glad about the colors because at the toe I do 75 rows but I need to have 80 not 80 eight stitch markers because I do them every 10 rows because I need to have like a starting point but sometimes I'll like trick myself and I'll count that starting point and then I'll realize that I have 10 more rows to go so I'm excited well, I'm excited that I got this because I can have like a different color for the starting row and then just count all of like you know just count all of the silver and not the blue one so it'll go a little bit faster so excited about that uh what about oh yeah so technically i this was an order i still have to make the etsy listing for them because they're for my mom so she's not too like i don't care that she hasn't paid yet because it's my mom her room is right there i can just but I am going to have, again, I talked about this in my actual socks video, like, my actual video for these socks. But I am going to have a little, um, not a little, I'm going to have another listing for some custom socks. They're going to be kind of expensive, they're going to be $50 for a pair. But the yarn I use, which is for the Hawthorne Kettle Dye, with shipping comes out to 24 bucks. So I'm getting like a dollar an hour. Yay. But I don't I don't mind. I love knitting socks and I'm just watching Criminal Minds while I do it anyways. So which I'm on season twelve and I started that like I wanna say right before Fourth of July weekend. I think it was on season two at like Fourth of July weekend. I'm on season twelve. <laughs> so I definitely think I'm gonna finish this. I think I'm going to finish Come On Minds within the next two, three weeks. I still have to watch the season finale of Loki. I'm so bad at watching that. I, I've i seen every other episode, it's not the season finale. But I will watch it. And then the new episode of Motherland, Fort Salem. 
that was on yesterday. I need to watch that. Because I watch it on Hulu, not on the TV. And it comes out the next day on Hulu. So it came out today. And, Amer and then the fourth episode of American Horror Stories comes out tomorrow. I still have to watch the last season of American Horror Story. But I'm going to watch the rest of Criminal Minds and then watch 1984. Because... I think I'm gonna save a few episodes of Double Feature on um, like wait a few weeks and watch like three or four episodes like back to back to back because I'm not known for my patience at all ever and so I have time to finish Criminal Minds and watch 1984 and do all of that um I haven't seen the trailer for Double Feature yet I'm gonna watch that later today but I am excited. I'm kind of mad that Evan Peters isn't in it. Like, I love Evan Peters so much. Um, he's like my favorite. Him and Sarah Paulison are like my favorite actors who have like reoccurred. And then Pepper is my favorite character who has reappeared. Um, so, very. I, mm, I don't want to wait. So. Annoying me, I'll actually end up watching all of the episodes the day they come out. I'm gonna try to just wait a few weeks. I don't know when Motherhood for Salem is gonna be over, which kind of sucks, but I f I'm pretty sure it's renewed for a season three as well. Or is that Loki? I don't know. One of the two. But, no, it's Motherland. Motherland and Loki, I think, are all renewed for up to season three. And there's a new Thor movie. And I saw Black Widow. Black Widow was great. Um, there are spoilers after this. So I'm just gonna... Spoiler, if you haven't seen Black Widow, it's like... You can leave. I don't know. You can skip a few minutes ahead. You know, like a minute, but... I love that movie so much. I... So... Natasha... Who was played by Scarlett Johansson? She like is what got me into my Marvel phase about a month and a half ago. Um, I have seen every single movie <laughs> that she's in, and then I got obsessed with Thor and Loki when I watched all of those movies. Um, excited for. F I don't. I there wasn't really anything I didn't like about the movie. Um. I, I love how we, I don't like how she's dead, obviously, but I do like how in the end credit scene, Yelena is tasked with killing Hawkeye, because I find it interesting that two of the most, like, dangerous people who were in the MCU were Black Widow and Hawkeye, and they were the two without any, like, special powers, or, like, I know Tony had his fancy equipment but they were just like on their own like their own fun little assassins so i'm excited to see if there's another movie well i know there's not but because she has said that she's not coming back after black Boy. but if yelena gets a movie I'm excited to see how that happens uh floor four is a thing Black Panther 2, super excited. I didn't get into Black Panther until after Chadwick Boseman died because I had went and seen 21 Bridges. And then it came out that he died and then like, I didn't realize that he was big for Black Panther because I had just like seen the suit. I never really like looked into the actors. And I was like, oh, he was in 21 Bridges and I watched it. So I'm excited for Black Panther 2. I very I think I know what's happening just based off of like the comics and what makes most sense and like the little bits of information that Marvel has released or I, I, I hope they're doing what I want them to do so yes, I, I think that's all I think that's all for today um I will see you guys next week please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and do all of that stuff. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys.
I love you. Um, but, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys in August. Yay, school starts in less than a month. Woohoo! School starts the 25th for me, so after then my videos might have to change to once every other week, but I still will be uploading, I promise. But, I will see you guys next week. Why doesn't never like to stop for my podcast episodes?